This video is sponsored by DisabilityQuotes.com. They have been helping residents and also practicing physicians find the right type of disability insurance for the past 20 years. This type of insurance ensures that your income continues when you cannot continue practicing medicine. It's important, so important that I personally have disability insurance. Click on the link below in the description for a free quote from them today. What's up everyone? This is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe. New videos coming every week. You don't want to miss these videos. Today I'm going to talk about why I chose to apply to orthopedic surgery. In your third and fourth year, your first and second year of medical school, you're in the classroom. So basically you go to class every day. And you may have some shadowing experiences that you go to the ER or to a primary care physician just to shadow them, just to get used to the, the uh, language and the, the medical terms and see how things got, are ran. Uh, you do, you go to a coroner's office and do an autopsy, and, but your third and fourth year are your clinical years and this is where you get your breadth of knowledge about how to take care of patients in the hospital. Um, and then this is when most people decide on a particular specialty check out my other video that I uh, recently post about how to choose a specialty and I'll put it right up here but during my third year and fourth year of medical school is actually at the end of my third year of medical school when I decided to apply to orthopedic surgery um, almost the beginning of my fourth year it was a late decision for me because I was between urology I knew I wanted to do something with my hands um, so it was either a very procedural base specialty or surgery. Uh, procedural base like um, internal medicine, or I'm sorry, emergency medicine, which they do a lot of procedures, chest tubes, central lines, arterial lines, uh, suturing, different wounds, all different types of procedures. And I, I, I did not choose to apply to emergency medicine because of the, lots of studies have shown that ER doctors, they they wear out quicker than other specialties. Uh, the burnout rate, that's what I'm trying to say, the burnout rate is a lot higher than other specialties. Um, I have another video about the burnout rate between physicians and I'll put that right up here as well. But I didn't like the idea of seeing a patient in the ER and never knowing what happened to that patient. You can look it up and see like what happened. This patient came in with chest pain, um, I started a heparin drip and blah 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 they went to the catheterization lab for a heart cath but once they leave the ER that's the last time you'll hear about that patient or see that patient unless you just happen to see him there is a unique specialty called emergency medicine EMIM in which your residency is composed of emergency medicine and also internal medicine uh, so it's a joint residency which you work in the ER sometimes and also you see patients in the hospital as an in, uh, internist. But I didn't like the schedule as well, flipping back and forth between nights, days, holidays, and it's, it's high stress. Uh, you're in the ER, it's trauma patients, so it's a very high stress level. Urology was my next choice. Um, I didn't, I didn't go, go, want to go into urology, I didn't want to be called the penis doctor my whole life. That's partially the reason why, but Urology does a lot of procedures, and I like, like I said, using my hands, but um, I ended up just going away from urology. I, I don't have the, I don't remember exactly why, but uh, it had to be with the penis thing, being called a penis doctor your whole life. There's nothing wrong with that, but there's, I'm glad there's people that do that. I couldn't do it. Um, I then thought about briefly for a hot second, uh, ENT. I met a doctor who was an ENT, he kind of mentored me a while while I was in med school and I kind of liked some of the things that he was doing but uh, decided not to go into it because I didn't want to be restricted to this part of the body from your, your head to your chest. Uh, I wanted to work on different parts of the body so that led me to orthopedic surgery. I did my rotation as a third year medical student, I loved it, 
I like the camaraderie. I like the brotherhood. I like the sisterhood. The Everybody's a big family. The orthopedic surgeons who are females and also males, everybody gets along. And when we get together, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So I always tell people that you have to... You, most people go into a specialty based, based off their personality, and I just felt like my personality kind of matched ortho. It's all about get it done. There's a problem that's presented to you, a broken fracture, a broken hip, broken leg, um, and then you just you deal with it. You fix it. I like the immediate gratification. Orthopedic surgery is a lot of fun. It's five years of uh, residency after your four years of med school, and most people do a fellowship. And for those of you who don't know, I just matched into spine surgery. Uh, so I'll be doing a spine fellowship after my residency is done. I have one more year of residency then, then I do my fellowship, but I'm looking forward to residency and being done and also completing my fellowship and I'll be an orthopedic spine surgeon. But orthopedics is a lot of fun. Like I said, uh, I love the immediate gratification. Uh, when a patient comes in with a hip fracture and they can't walk because their hip is broke, I can take them to surgery and then they're they are walking either the same day or the next day. You can do a wide variety of different procedures. We operate on any part of the body except the belly, the brain, the neck. We do op op operations on the neck for spine surgery, but most orthopedic surgeons uh, do not operate on the neck. That's the ENT surgeons. Uh, we operate on hand, foot, and ankle, knee, hip. So lots of parts of the bodies, of the body, and that's the reason why I kind of chose it and the reason why I love it. I'm, our, I'm four years into my residency, about to start my fifth year here in a couple weeks. So, and I, if I had to do it all over again, I would definitely do it. Um, dealing with fractures and dealing with people who have broken their bones or who are at the lowest point of their life, because when you're in the hospital and you're helpless, you're feeding your family, you're the head of your household, and then you break your ankle and you can't work. That's a life changer. And you meet people at their lowest point of your life, you can fix them, their ankle, and then get them back to work so they can support their family again. So I don't think there's any other job that's out there that's like it. Um, it's, it's very gratifying. It's, um, it's lots of fun. And in terms of fracture, when someone's bone is broken, say, say for instance their femur, the end portion of their femur, we call it a distal femur fracture, uh, it's like putting a puzzle bed together. You go in there, you make your incision, you make your cut on the leg, uh, you move the muscles and the important structures like the blood vessels and nerves out the way and then you're staring at like 15 different pieces of bone and you have to figure out like oh this bone this piece fits here this piece fits here uh, This comes together here and then you put a plate and some screws or some type of construct So it stays together and heals that way. So lots of fun it can be challenging at times Redundancy it can be challenging at times, but you know what in life isn't challenging so that's the reason why I chose to apply to orthopedic surgery. If I had to do it all over again, I would definitely do it. If you guys are out there in pre-med or in medical school, please consider it. Um, if your school does not let you rotate as a third or fourth year in orthopedic surgery, some schools do that, just find an orthopedic surgeon or a resident to shadow uh, and then uh, see if you like it. It is very physical, demanding, requires a lot of uh, effort, um, hands-on, surgery so um, it is a lot of work but it's definitely doable i love it i wouldn't change it for nothing in the world this is dr webb thank you guys for watching this video make sure you subscribe new videos every monday wednesday and friday also check out the sponsors over at disabilityquotes.com the link is in the description we'll see you next time